This video shows how to create a table at runtime in Android Studio so, or in Android application. So that's like this one. When you push a button, then, uh, then the list is loaded by, uh, by days in a month of a month <coughs> uh, into this table. So how does it work? Uh, let's stop this one for a moment. We go to Android Studio and there uh, we take uh, we add into the layout the default layout so that's uh, when you create an application then you always have this activity main that's the uh, start page and under uh, Android all those pages are called activities so uh, when you start there you have a blank application where there's nothing uh, except this one the first line first block and the last line then in my case i added a button uh, i said okay button and i gave the button an id so this is a name and i said okay button on click uh, is button uh, start on click so this resolves into a, a Java script function which has to be in <coughs> has to be found on the when the on click hap event happens it jumps to main activity Java so this is the same one in here it's automatically there okay now we have a button because I want to push that button and then the table should be loaded now I said the following uh, I started here with a table layout. A table means um, in Android uh, to create a, not a HTML table, you create a table layout. And inside the layout, you create table rows. And the cell itself is normally a text view where you drop the, the text inside this area. So <coughs> you write table layout. And then a final table layout at uh, the bottom and then a table row and then you end this row and all the uh, child elements are inside this is it's the same behavior like in uh, html but it's called row and layout in here um, and there's no uh, table uh, td element for for the cell so we have here in this case a text view so I said, okay, this is my main construction. Uh, I said, uh, you will find, and by the way, you find my code on my website. I will give you a link after this on that. Um, and now all that stuff is not so important, um, but you can try it there. Um, we have here the, the stuff that when we enter a table row, we're able to say, <coughs> to say the, set the background, background, background. That's like this one. If it's the first one is uh, now set, so I can't set it twice. And IntelliSense, but as you see there, we have this one. You may say uh, you may set it on with HTML uh, values for RGB. So this is, uh, for example, five by five, five. So you see uh, the uh, the design layout all automatically uh, runs with that stuff so i say in this case <coughs> that's a table row the first table row which is zero uh, at the first moment so we have here that's my header line yeah and uh, i start with a with a table layout and with one row which designs the header the headline then i say okay uh, in my my table itself should have uh, no background color so f means that's a, a full value for white so this is uh, means white in the background so that's in the background and the first row is black and now we start uh, <coughs> with the dynamic stuff now uh, when I would do it uh, automat uh, manually, then I would also uh, <coughs> again say, 
something like this, a table row, and inside the table row, I would set <coughs> text view, text view, and then uh, another text view again. So this is the manual stuff. And I would say here something with text, and then I would say uh, column, column one, for example, and there, and the second one the same. So that's manual stuff. And this is in the XML style. So this is when this system is loaded, then all this stuff is loaded, like a HTML website. But I will run, want to run it on uh, dynamically, so I created this button. And inside the button, I said, okay, go to, there's my button. I said, button start on click. So I jumped to my main uh, to my main activity Java that's here and now here I said okay if the button start on click happens then create a table so I created here a small function or method and that's the entire method here this one which loads the table so I first say at the first moment um, my table layout that's this one uh, table layout that's the table nothing else than the table table layout is find by ID R and then table main so this means uh, here I said okay this is my ID and then the ID is table main so it finds this element and now I'm adding rows to this element so I said uh, in my case, I said, okay, uh, in a loop for 30 days, for 31 days, for int uh, integer, one uh, i day, a loop variable, one to 31, uh, loop that stuff with plus plus, create a date of the current row. So this means when we have, we are, when we are here, create a date of this row and this row and this row so it's a, a variable so this is a date date row and I had then I said okay I had a small class helper get a date so of the format of the uh, uh, um, of the type date and I said okay year 2018 month 9 and then the current loop date then I have after this I have a date um, and then I said, okay, in Java, uh, you, in Android Java, you may say a simple date format is uh, string formatting. So I say, okay, create a format date weekday, which is EE. EE means uh, it's the shortage of the weekday. I said, okay, create a format then say uh, format uh, uh, so this is the definite format of format of weekday format a date so this is the date I'm dropping my date of the control in there and it get back a string which is called weekday so this is this uh, column in here so I have now my uh, my value my string of the weekday and now I say okay for the current date as a number I need a calendar calendar is um, the previous stuff in Java and uh, I say okay ca I create a ca calendar day model of this or a class and I say okay calendar get instance drop it in there and say okay uh, set the time of this uh, this class of this instance to the current date of this row and then I say by this I can say of this date calendar date or calendar day I say get a day of month means it gets one two three four five and then I compare it <coughs> then I say okay now we come back to the how to design a, a table I say okay I create a row table row row is a new table row context this 
And that's it. Uh, that's previous uh, stuff which for, uh, by the following. Well, if the weekday is calendar is Saturday or Sunday, then row set the background color to a color. And inside there, I may say color RGB. Let's say 200, 255 is the maximum value. So I say, okay, uh, a light gray means the red is pretty high, green is pretty high, and blue is pretty high. So I get a gray. If every all colors are uh, by the same value, then you get always a gray tone. Now we say, now we create, we have created a row. Now we say text view. Like in the activity, we say create a new text view. The, so this is the first cell. Create the first cell which we have here. That's the create a cell for the first uh, for the, as a first cell in in, in the row. And I say uh, table view is label t or the table view TV uh, day number. It's a new table view. And then I say a text view. And then I say label day uh, of this one. I called it label. Uh, this label set the text inside there is value of ID. So this is a, you may say a text only by a string. So I have to convert this number, this integer number to string. So this is string value of an integer. So we have the number. And then I say row. At this uh, at view is at a control view any any kind of control view and in this case I take the text view so this is the text like a label and drop it into the color into the row and automatically it's entered or added to the first uh, to the first cell then I say again text view label Monday a weekday uh, and I say keep uh, set text of the week weekday so we created it here uh, as a weekday and uh, then I say okay no, let's see we, we created it here by the string format then I say add this label again to the row and finally we uh, we say to the table which we have bound here we here we have found that connected it now I say table at a view so add an element and this is the row so we add cells into a row and into the row the row will be added to the table now we run that stuff I run it on my here on my Android remote device so because I have a uh, I'm working on Windows 10 and uh, I have an AMD processor. Uh, so we have to, I've connected this device by a USB cable and now uh, and I took it with air mirror so I'm able to see it. And now I push the start button and with the start button you see this block is loaded. Um, and this now for example the code if you wish to find the code then you go to either to ready.net so there's my code on there or you find it at codoku.com if it's there again and there are also the tables for uh, the, the files for download so you may test that stuff on your own website uh, not on your own uh, android app drop it in there and modify it.